Hey guys, I'm gonna show you a quick and easy meal prep today. First, we're gonna start with our breakfast. We're gonna go into a breath breakfast bowl that's full of antioxidants. It's going to be full of protein. So if you ever heard of the, front, the, the saying, front load your protein, this is what you're doing. You're starting off your day with tons of protein, with some probiotic, also some antioxidants and some fiber, which you need in every single day. Along with this, make sure you have water, okay? Water is very, very important to start your digestive tract. So this is a three-day meal prep. We're going with yogurt that has zero sugar, that has a high content of protein. The strawberries are your antioxidants and your fiber source. And the three-link sausage is about 19 grams of protein. Um, it's low in fat um, and it has zero sugar. So we want to focus on low sugar, high protein to get to our weight loss goal. This will last us about three days. You're looking at about 300 calories, maybe 275 calories in this meal for your breakfast meal. Great way to start off your day. The meal prep containers are some affordable meal prep containers. This video, I'm getting straight to the point. I'm telling you guys what you need to know when you meal prep just to get it done quickly and effectively. Next, we're doing a snack meal, okay? We're going with tuna this week. Why tuna, okay? Tuna is protein, all right? 100% protein, okay? Protein is gonna help you feel fuller longer. It's also gonna help with building your muscle. It's also gonna help with muscle recovery. So you can make your tuna how you want. I'm showing you what I'm adding, some black pepper, mayo, parsley, and salt, and some lemon. Now, if you have some lemon juice, you can put lemon juice in there, um, and you could just make this how you wanna make it. You can add relish. I'm a pickle girl. Um, so I probably have a pickle on the side. If you wanted to do this with a few saltine crackers, y'all country like me, y'all y'all got some saltine crackers in y'all in y'all cabinet. If you want to do this with a few saltine crackers and count them out and make sure you're just counting the measurements. But I am on a low carb, high protein diet to get to my weight loss goal. Okay, and I call it a diet because I'm trying to lose weight. I'm not trying to maintain weight. Now, you know, before I had my third child, I was just maintaining weight. But now I'm actually trying to lose weight. And I'm putting it in these little cute containers. I got these little cute containers from Publix. And for the base of my container and to keep um, cause tuna has a high water content as well. All right. So I'm just going to put down some romaine lettuce. Um, and it already came like this. I washed it and dried it to the best of my ability, but it does hold a lot of water. Okay. I could have had a little bit drier, but it is what it is. It's going to do what it's going to do. Um, and if you wanted to eat the lettuce with it, you could actually eat the lettuce with it as well. I brought out my old faithful scale because I wanted to make sure how much protein I was having since I put three containers together. So about 89 grams is about 19 grams of protein in this snack. All right. So if you wanted to do the 19 protein, 19 grams of protein and add like a boiled egg to it, like a fresh boiled egg, you can do that as well to bring you up to over 20 grams of protein. So aim to about have to try to have 30 grams of protein per meal and even in a snack. All right. So that's how it came out. Good and delicious. And I use an ice cream scooper to get the balls like that. Next, we're going on to our dinner meal and I'm showing you exactly how I prepared everything. This is some rice. Um, four cups of rice with four cups of water with a little bit of olive oil and salt is optional. Just make sure you make sure it's smooth all the way out so we can cook evenly. You'll see at the end of this video, the rice came out perfect. Put it on high when it comes to a boil and you start to see the holes, put it on low. Next, I'm making some teriyaki sauce for my salmon and this is gonna be my dinner meal um, or my lunch meal whatever have you i usually like to have my salmon at the end of the day sometime unless i have two things of salmon but this is going to be for my dinner this week to keep me full and to keep me from being greedy all night so i'm just adding some teriyaki sauce i put about four ounces about a tablespoon of some low sodium soy sauce um, I got this one from Publix. I've had this for a while. I'm putting a little honey on there and I'm going to do a tablespoon of honey. Y'all look at my waistline. 
I came on the video, my belly was out. I didn't even know. But I have lost so much fat and so much weight. Even though the scale only says about 27 pounds, I feel like I lost about 50. Um, but that's what you do when you're when you're actually weight training um, and doing your cardio. That's what happens. So here are my three salmon select. Um, and I'm just going to get them seasoned. I do have the Tony's non-salt and creole with salt i'm gonna use the one with salt because i think the one with no salt it ain't it don't it don't give like the full creole one okay so just do what you prefer do what your diet is letting you do all right i'm not on any restrictions the only restriction i'm on is to get this fat up off me to lose this rest of this baby weight that's it all right so i'm just getting my sauce put on my salmon i'm gonna put some now and once it starts to cook on the stove later i'm gonna add it more to my pan and i'm gonna show you guys how i do that as well so get it um evened out um all over your salmon select these were gonna be salmon bites but they just were not thick enough to make bites all right So make sure you get your skillet on medium heat. Um, I got these skillets from Walmart. I've had these for years now. I'm the type of girl I don't throw away a skillet. I don't know about you. But salmon, okay, protein, all right? I think this is like 20 grams of protein in each piece of salmon, all right? How do I know this? How do you find this out, okay? The barcode that's on the salmon when you get it, all you have to do is read the numbers off the barcode or go to whatever store you got it from and they're going to have the calorie facts. That's how they cut it by portion, by the grams of um, protein or they cut it by ounce, which you can you can change over the measurements to grams or ounces, whatever you're calculating. All right. This thing cooks so good, y'all. Like so good. It takes about 20 minutes for the salmon. Don't try to cook it real, real high. It's going to be pink in the middle and you ain't gonna like it because you ain't gonna feel like it's done but some people like their salmon like that next i'm adding the rest of my sauce to my salmon and when i tell you girl it's gonna caramelize and it's gonna be very very good it ain't gotta be perfect we ain't gotta be food network okay we just gotta be consistent with our with our diet so while that's cooking we're gonna get our cabbage meal now when i eat cabbage I feel like a superwoman because cabbage also has a high content of water and it's also a complex carb. It can give you fuel just like a piece of bread can give you fuel. All right. So just be mindful of your carbs and your complex carbs because most of the time you don't think you're eating carbs, but some fruits and vegetables um, are a source of a complex carb. Okay. If you guys want to know more about that, make sure you comment down below. Give me some feedback. If you're still watching the video, I mean, if you're still watching the video and you're taking down your notes, cause y'all know I'm bad about putting stuff in the description box. So I'm just taking the icky part off of my cabbage and I'm cutting it down. It did not have bugs in it, but it did look like somebody played soccer, maybe FIFA, Maybe, you know, if you like soccer girl, maybe maybe Real Madrid, be Argentina. You know, my husband is not a messy fan. My husband loves CR7. Um, so I'm not a messy fan. All right. So, but somebody it definitely looked like somebody played soccer with this piece of cabbage. Like they was just out there and they was just they was just doing their thing. All right. So get your cabbage cut all the way down. It does not have to be perfect. You don't have to try to be perfect, all right. Do what you need to do to get to the goals that you need you want to get to. So when we get this cut down, we're going to wash it thoroughly and we're going to put it in our wok pan. Now I have two of these things right here. Okay. I have two of these wok pans. I love these pans. All right. I love to make me a good stir fry at home. So the first thing I'm adding is some low sodium soy sauce, just a little bit. You can always bring your taste up, but you cannot take it back. All right. Um, so I'm just putting a little bit, okay, I'm building up this chili garlic right here. It is so good, okay? But if you put too much, it will be spicy. Where are my spicy girls at? So you just need like two tablespoons, and I'm using a little bit of Creole seasoning, just a little bit. Remember, you can always go up, but you can't take it back, okay? You cannot take it back. So this is going to be my either dinner meal um, or my lunch meal um eat it however you want to eat it just prep it okay so i'm adding a pound of shrimp 
to this meal. So this is gonna be like a shrimp and cabbage meal. Shrimp, again, is 100% protein, all right? I'm really mad because I had to peel this shrimp myself, and y'all know, oof, I don't like it. It takes shrimp about two minutes to cook. It doesn't take shrimp long, all right? Next, I'm adding just a little bit of more teriyaki sauce, all right? So again, you build your dishes up. You don't have to go all in in the, in the beginning part. They can come out to be too salty. You can put too much in there. And I understand that everybody has different taste buds. I just use basic things for this, all right? Because remember, if you use too much of a good thing, you can also sabotage your your weight loss, all right? So here's how it turned out. You don't wanna cook the cabbage really, really soft, just steam it. Put the lid on it and steam it and come back to it. This is how our salmon turned out. It was so freaking good and so tender. The juices were flowing all the way through. And this is how our rice turned out. Our rice was very, very good as well. So I'm getting it into my meal prep container. Um, the meal prep container is about a four cup meal prep container. So although it might not look like a lot of food is in that container, don't worry about that, okay? Do not worry about filling your containers to the top. That is self-sabotage, all right? The rice was perfect. So what I did was a cup of rice with this meal. So now I have some type of carb, some type of fuel that I need along with my protein. If you wanted to add a green to this, you can. But throughout my day, I do have protein shakes or protein bars as well to get to my protein content, all right? So next is my cabbage and my shrimp. And this came out so good. I'm actually sitting here eating it right now. Like, I'm not even gonna hold you. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Um, again, this cup measure, this cup is measured out to four cups. If you fill this thing up to the top, you are wrong, all right? Don't think you have to fill it up to the top, all right? So if you wanted to use a scale for this, you can use a scale and measure it out. I use one pound of the shrimp and one head of cabbage, all right? If you need a little bit more and you feel like you're still hungry, to this meal, add one half cup of rice. So I gave my husband one of these and I added a cup of rice because he needs more, he needs more food. Um, and I put a cup of rice with this and it was perfect. All right. So if you need a little bit more, if you need a little bit more for fuel, if you feel like the cabbage is not holding you, just add a little bit of rice to this bowl and it's going to come out perfect. So let me know if you guys watched the whole video. Let me know if you want me to go into depth with weighing your food. Let me know if you want a full on video of how I've lost 27 pounds so far, how I've lost a lot of fat, how I'm toning. And let me know if you guys want to know about my old weight loss journey when I lost almost 100 pounds after having my second child. All right, so a like, share, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you visit bodyfordays.com. Um, share this video out, you know, save it so you can come back to it. Um, I hope you gathered something from this information that I'm giving you in this video. I hope it was very helpful. If so, you know what to do. I'll see you guys on the next video.